So I just left the South by Southwest conference in Austin. Uh, wow, what an amazing event that was. Uh, it's still going on. I, I only stayed for three days, but the three days that I attended were phenomenal. Uh, that's something I think I'm going to go to every year. There's a lot to learn. Uh, a lot of great networking opportunities, which I did network quite a bit. Uh, met some producers and some visual effects supervisors and a few other interesting people that uh, I will have to follow up on when I get home. Um, the first presentation I went to was Darren Aronofsky's. And, uh, you know, I'm not really a Darren Aronofsky fan. Certainly did not like the Noah movie. Although I liked The Fountain. The Fountain was kind of interesting. Um, but I will say his presentation was um, really quite good. Uh, it was sort of his Ten Commandments of Filmmaking and his philosophy on making film and the journey that he took to, to get to where he's at. So I actually took quite a bit of notes. It was, uh, it was, it was worth going to. Um, I went to lectures primarily involving distribution, sales, um, marketing, visual effects for the indie filmmaker, stuff like that. Uh, and attended some really cool lectures on uh, Westworld, the TV series Westworld. Uh, they, they had like an actors and writer panel. The executive producers were there talking about season two. Uh, and that was kind of cool. It was just more listening to their take on the show. But there was another one that they did. It was called um, Westworld... Uh, transmedia, something something about transmedia um, as it relates to marketing film and television shows. And basically what that meant was the campaign that they did before they even launched season one of Westworld was making an immersive environment for their customers, for, for the people that would, you know, hopefully get become fans of the show. And what that means in terms of building a fan base ahead of time using immersive experience web development and apps and stuff like that uh, and laid out five key components to building effective transmedia campaigns and I was really excited because C definitely lends itself to the same types of possibilities that they use for Westworld so anyway, uh, real excited. I'll, I'll write or talk more about this later, um, but just very excited about what I learned there and ready to jump back into Seed because you know I've already written this much, right? Lots of scripts here. Um, this is these are five episodes right here. I've actually got six written, but. I'm still actually tweaking episodes five and six. Um, and uh, I'm, I've got a meeting I'm getting ready to go to with another writer. Uh, his name is Rob Price. I met him actually at a Christian Media Association conference. Uh, I got there a little bit late for one of the presentations, so I was just standing in the back of the room. And uh, this guy that was sitting at a table near the back area He's looking at me. He's looking at me. He finally got up and came over. He's like, "Is your name Rob Skiba?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, wow! I love your stuff, man." You know, I said, "Well, let's uh, you know, keep it down." Where you know the presenter was getting ready to uh, talk, and uh, I said, "You know, let's talk out in the hallway later." And we did. And he's he's actually he teaches script writing at a college, and um, has given me some really good constructive feedback and script coverage on my first four episodes. And um, I've given him some feedback on a script that he wrote. And anyway, we're both into the same type of research. You know, he's familiar with my Archon Invasion book and all that type of research. He did similar research. So i um, getting ready to go to meet with him for lunch. And this may be a historic event. And um, yeah, so I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. See ya. All right, I'm here at BJ's Restaurant with... Rob Price. Hello guys, how you doing? Rob and Rob, right? Rob and Rob, right. And we, we both came bearing gifts for each other. Scripts and books and all that kind of good stuff. So. Thank you. 
we are getting ready to eat and then have some lengthy conversations about moving seed forward. So stay tuned. So it's now about 20 after 6. I met Rob Price at 1 o'clock, so we've been talking for a long time. <laughs> uh, but it was really, really good. Uh, I showed him, uh, well, he's already been helping me out with the first four scripts as a sort of a script doctor sounding board. Uh, he teaches script writing at a college level and uh, has been very helpful in bouncing ideas off of and looking at my script and helping me clean up dialogue a little bit. And, uh, Brian Gadawa, same thing. Brian Gadawa has helped me out the same way. Uh, really trying to make these first four scripts as tight as we possibly can. And uh, so far, everybody's really excited about it. I, I definitely am. And uh, Rob's going to be helping me probably going into episode six. I, I think we may co-write episode six. And I may just turn episode seven over to him to see what he does with it. But in the meantime, uh, we are definitely kindred spirits, and uh, I'm very excited to be working with him. We'll probably need to draw up something a little bit more of a formal contract in the very near future. Uh, not everybody can work for free forever, so I understand that. But he's certainly been uh, very gracious with his time and willingness to help and so into seed at the moment uh, until we get funding. But, man, I'm just supercharged. It's been... A very exciting couple of weeks actually I met with a guy I think it was last Thursday uh, he was the founder of defiant media comics and another kindred spirit we really hit it off and uh, explained my project to him and emailed him the script and he read it well I was actually at the South by Southwest conference and I got a text from him he's like dude I love this script this is awesome so we'll be getting work on the comic book version of it very soon had another guy that's willing to help me uh, as a ghostwriter for the fiction novel version of it. And he sent me just sort of a, by way of a, a tryout phase, if you will. He, I sent him the teaser of episode one, which is only like three pages. And he wrote back about two pages, two, two full pages, eight and a half by 11, of a novelized version of like the first two paragraphs <laughs> of the teaser. And truly awesome I am really excited about that so lots of good stuff going on lots of stuff to follow up on from the conference needless to say I am pumped I'm jacked out of my mind I'm really excited and uh, stay tuned for more I'm gonna try to do more of these uh, video blogs so you guys can take the journey along with me and it'd be kind of fun I think to look back after this is finally up and running and really manifesting as a reality to see the journey and what it took to get here. So, until next time.